but this is what we're gonna get up to in uh, Paris by night. Yes, we've got lots of stuff planned. We've got the Moulin Rouge, we've got the Eiffel Tower. What else we got? Uh, the bridge, the bridge up here. The Ponce Alexandra the Third Bridge. Checking that out. Had a rather expensive dinner, but didn't film. <laughs> Every dinner is eighty dollars. We're just sort of going around the entire city, <laughs> hitting all the spots you would hit in the day, but we're hitting them at night. <laughs> Got to see them at night too. They're equally as iconic at night. So. All right, let's get it. All right, the Pont Alexander the Third Bridge by night. It's all lit up with these beautiful lanterns. You can see the gold horses at the top, and I'm just having serious Anastasia vibes here. So this is so pretty. Do you like it? Yeah. We were obviously here during the day, but I was saying to Kate, I'd really like to see it at night because all these lanterns are lit up, as well as the Eiffel Tower over there. So. And they're really like cool Gothic style lanterns too, aren't they? They're like yeah, beautifully detailed. Such a cool. It's probably the coolest like bridge I've been here in Paris. It's really nice, and because like up there. Is what the Grand Palace? That's the Grand Palace. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's the Royal Palace? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Everything, if I will say one thing about Paris, everything I've noticed, so intricately and well planned out. Like it's just like the Arc de Triomphe, whatever, in the centre, and everything is branched off that. Same thing applies here. Like you've got this palace at the back here straight road straight through and on either side you'll have whatever that thing is over there <laughs> what do you call it the, on the right that's the petite palace and the grand palace and the louvre is down there yeah so it's all really well thought out i'll let kate will show you around via their epic b-roll but we had to come and see it it's iconic so it's really pretty tonight because it's raining so it's like all the colors are reflecting off the road yeah and it's really cool yeah it's such a nice reflection like this bad weather has actually turned into something really cool for us a cool experience yeah neon lights and rain are a good combo yeah, we learned that in japan, in japan. <laughs> and now we're here again all right let's do this
have a 6.30 resi up there, on top of the Eiffel Tower. So keen. Like, I'm, I don't really go too well with being in really high places. I just, I don't like the analogy that like, you can only come down from there. I got, like, Caitlin was scared the other day, underground. <laughs> And I just hate being up really high places, so I'll see how I go up there. That'll be fun. I'll be fine. I just I tend to get up there and then think I don't want to get down. It's worth it. Oh, I'm so tired. All right. Brady's got his beanie on for the first time of the trip. It's cold, isn't it? It's cold here, I reckon, at the top of this tower. It's going to be like <clears throat> some next level chill. Caitlin thinks I look like a proper. Because <laughs> of the beard. A proper creep. <laughs> you want to say where we are? At the Eiffel Tower. Well, underneath, waiting to get in. It's quite impressive. Free to get in here, which we just found out. Yeah. To this part, then to the top. You're looking at about 49 euro per person. <laughs> That's wrong. How much is that? <laughs> I don't know, it was like 80 or 90 Australian or something like that. This is hard. Oh, it's cold. Here we go. Anytime soon? Even, even I'm like a little bit vertigo y. Okay. Alright, that was like very. That was scary at the end there. Yeah, that was. I like got a, like a weird feeling. Did you get a weird feeling? Yeah. We're up top. Katie, I'm filming. What did you think of that? It was kind of a bit terrifying. <laughs> like at the end, when it, like, I, I kind of thought like, it's going to stop now, but it didn't. It kept going, and then I got like a weird rush. And now I feel kind of like nauseous. Yeah. And like tingly. Alright. Smash it out, go up to the exposed bit, Is and it? then come back in here. There's that wind. What you say? I said like if you fell you would die. I think that's a given. What if this thing fell? We would all just go. So this park here is the Chocadero where we take took photos on the stairs. This carousel. Over there is the Arc de Triomphe. Um, Over there is the Louvre. With the Ferris wheel. I'm not zooming because I can't oh, man. be bothered. What's in here? What's this do? Is 
having a chat having a in the Eiffel Tower. Casual chat. I mean, I'd love to be in there right now. Thomas I'll Edison. You. I'll text you. Didn't he make the light bulb? Yeah, kind of. Gustave, I fell. Oh, I just got a woozy head spin again. Okay, can we go back to the warm bit? So there's a bar up here that you can get some drinks at. It's sparkling. Uh -huh. Okay, boys. Sydney, Australia. We're on the map. And we're like almost 17,000 kilometers away, and all the other countries are nowhere near that. All right. We're let's, far from home. let's get down to the second level. So that's going to wrap it up. I'm pretty pretty grateful to be up here, to be honest. Like, I don't like heights. So I'm not going to stay up here too much longer. <laughs> That sounds like a big skirt, but like... It's cool to see Paris and pinpoint everywhere that we've been. And look down and be like, oh yeah, we've been there, there, there. Like we've, we've covered a fair bit of green up here on our stay in Paris. So I'm just going to do a bit of B-roll, hang out with my wife, and get the hell out of here. That's not cool. What's happening? Now I just went out and out beefed on the way down. <laughs> I don't like it. But the sparklers are on. J'ai appelé la fosse. Vous savez ce que Dury est tout seul pour le moment. I was gonna ask. Oh my god. On the panel over there. Yeah, and I was like, hmm. Service lights on. Well, we're just below the second level. Yeah, we're at the we're at the commit level. I was willing to stay for chips and hot chocolate, but no more. <laughs> Ok, uh, some news. Uh, on va en français d'abord. Il y en a pour minimum un quart d'heure à partir de maintenant pour uh, réparer. Uh, it's the 15 minutes uh, more to wait before it will be fixed. That's the technician. What is the 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Minimum. 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 Yes. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
Where are the mechanics? They just cut to different stuff. There's no mechanic up here. There's that lock of a light scale. At least we could escape the other one. We can't escape this one. Look, there's people there taking the stairs. Wise choice. Open. I didn't see like a staircase option. I wish we took the stairs. The last ones on as well. Imagine us if we did it, we'd be up the top of the garden. <laughs> Just <laughs> give everyone a run by run of the horrible things that have happened to us on this trip. We are literally finding out. It's a horrible video, yeah, but I just want to record in case we just plummet to our death. Things that like, I would say worries me. He's had full power out, never having a full run. Which means he didn't have to stop this thing. And we were like full emergency stop. This is a blistering speed at which we are moving. We're so close. Come on, open. Open sesame. Johnny says open. Open a damn door. I think I think we're just stuck here. We're gonna have to make a new civilization. We'll be the elevator people. Okay, Bob. Oh. We're on the ground. I love the ground. Hang on, hold this. Hold this. What are you doing? Don't kiss it. Please don't. Don't kiss it. I was just saying, okay, before like they had a chance to say like sorry, it was just get out. That rude, it was just like, oh, 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 messy. <laughs> Goodbye, exit this way. All right, for context, we were just underneath the second level, like we just got in the elevator and it just it took it, it went down probably for what five seconds, not even. It was just like, Rrr. and then it just went boof. Like and just stopped and then yeah. free fell like a meter. Yeah, the lights so the lights went out and then it free fell and like to the point where when an emergency stopped, I like fell onto Braden and grabbed him. But yeah, for context, first level, second level, that's where we that's where we were sitting. Yeah, I'd like to leave this whole yeah. premise now. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mark Tower. See you never. <laughs>
That umbrella is blocking it hard. Now right, turn around, you ready? That's not in focus. There's no, it's definitely not in focus. Hello? Alright, I'll give it a sec. Okay. All right, next up, we're at the Moulin Rouge. Yeah, so, um, third time is never good for me. I can't do three. And I was just like doing a stretch and a squat and a double squat. And then they just started running to a new spot. You do another workout. I would do that if I was back home. Yeah. I need, awesome I need some workout class. I need light. Where's your phone? It's okay. This is probably not good at all. Go again. Keep going. Let's go. Just run. Cute.